Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on the Simply Development YouTube channel, where in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to set up a mod mail bot on your Discord server. What a mod mail bot is, is basically an inbox bot for the staff team of your Discord server, so it's where someone messages the bot something, and then it sends it to the staff team of the Discord server so that everyone in the staff team can say something back to them. It just makes it a lot, a lot easier for people to send requests to the staff team. So let's get started. So first you want to come over to the My Applications part of the Discord Developer Portal. I'll leave the link down in the description. And then, if you've created any bots before, you'll have them right here. If you've created them before, you probably know what this process is. But if you haven't, you go to New Application, and then just name the bot whatever you want. I'll just name mine Mod Mail Tutorial Bot, and then you click Create. And then it'll go ahead and create the uh, application so then here's an icon thing you can choose for your bot uh, I'm not gonna choose an icon because I don't really have an icon but if you want to choose an icon you just click choose a neat icon and then you just look for the icon anywhere on the desktop or anywhere along here and then you just click on it and then it'll up and, and then it'll put it right here and then you click save when it pops up down here but then once you have the icon set you come over here to bot and then you click yes do it so then it'll load, and then it'll load this bot page right here, and then you can choose an icon for your bot, same way, and then this, the, the username, and then the permissions. But we'll worry about the permissions after we get the actual bot file set up. So now you want to come on over to Google, and then you want to type Discord Mod Mail Bot. And then you want to press enter. And then when this loads, you want to click Draggery slash Mod Mail Bot. A bot for Discord that makes it easier for and then dot 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 to get up. So then you want to click on that link and then it'll take you to this github page where you want to download as zip you download the zip files for this or you can clone it to your github thing your github desktop app but I'm not going to get into that because I don't really use that very much. So then once it's done installing you want to extract it with whatever extracting software you use so then if you use WinRAR which I do you want to extract and then to the desktop and then click OK. And then once it's extracted, you want to go open the folder on your desktop. And then there will be a few different files in here. The main file you want to focus on is the config. So you want to copy the config example file and paste it. And then just name it config. And then once that's created, you delete the config example file. And then you right click on config, open with, and then whatever editor you use. I use Visual Studio Code to edit my files. So now you're going to be editing the actual bot file instead of the online version. So before you edit any of this code, you're going to want to go to Discord, User Settings, Appearance, and make sure Developer Mode is enabled. You want to make sure this is blue, not gray. I already have it set to that because I've worked on stuff before. So then you want to close this, and then you want to come back to the Discord Developer Portal, and then you want to reveal your token, and then you want to copy your token, and then you want to go back to the code area and then where it says your bot token you want to erase that and then paste your token into there and then you want to come to discord and whatever your main server is like whatever your main server is like your community that you're setting this up for you want to right click on the title and then click copy id and then go back to your editor and then put the main guild id into the main guild id area and then save it and then you want to go back to discord and then is say you have a staff team server for it you have a staff team server set up you want to go to the staff team server or just create one i'll just create a an example mod mail server and then this will be the log server so you want to right click the id for this and then you want to go back to your editor and then put this into the log channel id and then save it. And then the mail ID, copy the ID of the staff team slash log server too. And then paste it in there. And then once you've done that, you wanna go back to your Discord developer portal application area, back to the bot you created over here. And then you go to OAuth2. And now in here you wanna click on the bot permission. And then you wanna copy this. And then you wanna open a new tab and then paste the link into the new tab and then open a 
another new tab and then paste it into there. And then it'll load a bot invite area. So then you want to invite the bot to the example server. Authorize. And then you click I'm not a robot. If it asks you to do that, but I think it always does. And then once that's checked, you close the tab that you have open already and then go to the second tab that you opened. And then you invite it to the other server, which is the, which for me it would be the example modmail server, but for you it would be the log server slash modmail server. So you want to invite the bot to both servers you created. And then once this I'm not a robot thing loads, you want to go back to Discord. And then now you'll see the Modmail tutorial bot is here. So then before you do anything else, you want to come back to the code file and make sure everything is put there correctly. And then if you want, you can customize this and then this. But you don't have to, you can just leave those default. So then you want to go to the Modmail folder. And then you want to hold shift and right click on anywhere in the folder. And then click open PowerShell window here. If you're on Windows, I don't know what it'll be for everything else. So then you want to type npm install and then once it actually loads everything it'll start installing the dependencies for the bot and then once it's done installing everything you want to type node dot and then the bot should start error log channel not the oh i forgot about something so you want to delete this log channel id and then go back to Discord and then go to your mod mill server and then right click on the text channel or just down here create channel and name it mod mod mail logs and then right click on that and then copy the ID and then go back in here and paste it into there and then save it and then go back to the Windows PowerShell and type node dot and then the bot should start regularly connecting to Discord Okay, and now it's connected. Connected, now listening to the DMs. And now you can see that the bot is online. Message me for help, which I already have messaged him. And he replied with, thank you for your message. Our mod team will reply to you here as soon as possible. So then you'll get a ping in the mod mail server, and then it'll create a new thread which people can reply to him with. So to reply to the person in the DM, you do exclamation mark R, and then what you want to say, so I'll just say hello. So then it, the bot should send me a reply. Yep, he did. So then he'll send me a reply with the person's name and then hello. And then in the mod mail server, if you give, if you give yourself a role, I'll just give myself staff role. I gotta make the role, I gotta make the role display role numbers for it to store. So then if I say hello again, It'll reply with staff Lexmark 66 hello again. So then if people have a role sent to them in the staff server, which I do, I have staff role, and then they reply, it'll show the role beside their name. So then to tell for if people are replying in the DM, it'll show their hashtag beside their name. And then if you want to close the thread with the person, if you're done talking to them, you just do exclamation mark close, and then the bot will eventually close the thread. Closing thread. And then it'll delete the thread. And then the bot will send a message to the log channel, where it'll create a log file with the messages that you had with the, with the person in the thread. So that was the tutorial of how to set up a mod mail bot and how to use a mod mail bot on Discord. If this tutorial helped you out, please leave a like on the tutorial, subscribe for more future tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.